So today we're going to go over a review of the Microsoft Surface Pro 6. Um, this is kind of what they class as a tablet, but it pretends to be a laptop as well. So the spec of this one that they've sent over for review is an i7 processor uh, with 8 gig of RAM and 256 uh, SSD running Windows 10 Pro. So it's a full version of Windows 10, just like you'd have on your desktop PC or your laptop. Uh, and therefore you can load up all your applications. So for example, I've got my full suite of Adobe software on there. So it is laptop size, but it's a tablet. So you've got USB 3 on there and micro display on the side there, power button and the volume buttons on the top there, and on the bottom is its multi-connector. So you can see the little card slot inside there, and in there you can put a TransFlash or micro SD um, up to uh, 256 gig, so that allows you to expand the onboard storage. So it's got its own little special uh, charging dock at the side there, which is kind of magnetized. And on the top corner, sort of uh, on the adjacent corner to the power button and the volume rocker, is actually one of those weird things, a headphone port. Hmm, who would have thought it? So the trick up the sleeve of this one is that the back folds out like that, allowing you to put it down and it stands on its own. You can then get the stylus pen to actually use it and type away. So I want to rest my hand on there and I want to use it like that. But I can't, obviously it's touch screen. So when I press the button, I have to make sure that my hand doesn't touch anywhere as I'm pressing the button because I have to bring my hand really down to the bottom of the pen to use it that way. Um, as a right click on a mouse, it's not very good either at that one. As you press it, you move it. <laughs> so it doesn't really work that well. Uh, it's magnetized. So essentially you just drop it on the side there and it finds its own place. Uh, what I've found is as you open the back there, sometimes you can flick the, flick it off like that. Again, with this being Microsoft, you know, they're not only going to sell you a pen, um, but they're going to sell you a mouse as well. So they've made this mouse so it's flat, easy to carry in your backpack. Um, and then you click it on and it sort of uh, comes to life. Um, and that's basically saying it's paired, it's ready to go. Um, so there'll be a link up there now to, uh, to go and watch a little review of this mouse. But the mouse is very good and the combination of the tablet set on a desk with the mouse is a lot better than the stylus pen not a fan of this stylus pen. Now the next thing this has got a trick up its sleeve is on the bottom there, um, it's got its own little sort of uh, connection system. Um, and what that does is, yep, you've guessed it, it comes with a keyboard. Um, now my next issue with this keyboard, I'm gonna say is that it's quite flexible. Like really quite flexible. So the keys have got enough movement and feel and um, you know bounce to them. There's no problem with the keys, I like them. Uh, they are backlit as well, so that's pretty good. And also you've got a touchpad. This then connects via a special connector on there. So just launch them two together at each other and that's you done. Um, you know, that's everything. But there again, you know, if you buy the keyboard, do you need the mouse because of the touchpad? Uh, I don't know about that one. I like the mouse, it works well. I would say, don't bother £100 or £90 or something for that one. I would say don't bother with that. It's quite a weighty tablet as well. Um, it's probably double the weight of an uh, an iPad, the average iPad. Um, and then obviously you've got to hold it in a certain way that you're not touching the touch screen to then work out what you're doing with it. Uh, and it does get a bit weighty in your hand. And the chins are quite small, top and bottom, left and right, whichever way you do it. And that makes it more difficult to hold it with the weight of it as well and um, without it getting sort of quite painful for one hand to hold it like that um, without actually touching the screen so that's the negative side of that one in that mode that's your laptop mode obviously you're using this bit as the stand at the back which you can angle to whatever angle you want and then obviously you fold the keyboard out to start typing now like i say my issue with that is um that doesn't always support. If you look at that now, 
then that's just going to flip over and there's no weight in here whatsoever to hold it down so this for me is the way that you know the laptop works best it's where we all know laptops work that you put this on your knee and then this bit supports the screen angle this for me falls over it isn't a laptop the keyboard um, doesn't weight the screen down this thing on the back this flap to angle it that's a bit flaky and unless you've got a very good angle on there um, it can get a bit kind of top heavy and as soon as you move yourself around it doesn't work price wise um, for everything you see here so that's the actual tab tablet hybrid laptop thingy the stylus um, the uh, mouse and the uh, folio keyboard with its special Alcantara finish um, you are looking around about £1,500 if you were to go and buy that. This is a review product so I've not bought it uh, I've got to box it up and send it back now um, I wouldn't buy it and I wouldn't really recommend it to anybody either so yeah thanks for watching my video today if you have any questions leave them in the comments section down below do my best to answer them or to cover any queries you might have uh, and until next time you take care and i'll see you again Bye.